Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. And I'm James. And this is the Extra Channel, where we review weird things like this. We're at a collection auto today, which has, surprise. Eclectic cars. Eclectic cars. We're leaning into it. We're yep. just going. And this is very much that. This is a Citroen 2CV. Citroen 2CV. Yep. Do you oh. know anything about the Citroen 2CV? No, because I'm English. And English, <laughs> and it, when you grow up in England, yeah. There's an embargo on certain pieces of information. Everything French. Everything French <laughs> and the Revolutionary War. Right, now let's talk about those. Is that not weird? It is a like, bit weird. We don't yeah. know anything about uh, the Revolutionary War. That's America or Britain. It's just turned into a socio-political yeah, the, the education. The term red ever. coat means nothing to an Englishman. <laughs> it's not an insult. It's just, anyway. Speaking of red coats, this is wearing one. That, is, that is not red, that's maroon. Whatever, it was a good segue and you ruined it. <laughs> this is the Charleston. Okay. Brief. That's the trim? That is the version. It's a okay. special edition. Okay. But let's go back in time, okay? Right. Okay, you know how the Beetle is the car of the people? Yeah. This is the car of the people, but the French people. Ah, uh, okay, for Pelle le Person. For Le, le, le Person. Le, el, el, you go on, Nine years of French is what I did. Yeah. Yeah. How many did you do? Six. Wow. So between yeah. the two of us, 15 years of French and we don't know how I to say I had Mr. Rocher people. as my teacher. Like literally Ferrero Rocher. <laughs> yeah, he was really scary. That must have been a joke. They always are. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Um, I have a damn fair Is this a anyway. scary car? Are we about to have a bit of a scary time? Uh, uh, well, yes and no. Uh, it depends on if you plan on getting up to speed on the road. Oh, so is it quick? No. The original one had nine horsepower. Okay. Nine. It didn't make a noise like that. No, because it had a flat twin. Um, and Not, but yeah. a bicycle has nine horsepower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Autozam AZ1 we did had 60 something. Yes, this is the Charleston edition. Came out in 1986, and this is the production version of the limited edition. And we know that because it has chrome headlamps. Ooh. Yeah, see that? Um, this has 29 horsepower. Oh, that's a significant jump. Mm, huge difference. So zero yeah. to 62, can you guess? Less than a minute. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Thirty-three seconds. Thirty-three seconds. Yes, um, but you can—it's got. But you, it's, you can tell it's French, right? It looks like a you? Bugatti Chiron. It's, <laughs> it's got this line. Okay. It goes. Yeah. Chiron's got that. You're right. It's yeah. You're right. The Chiron it, doesn't have bicycle wheels. I uh, listen. The, it's sim simplicity, ease of repair, cheap parts. That was the mandate for this car. It was only sold to people. There's so much demand for them. It was only sold to people who needed them or who couldn't afford any other type of car. We could do with a mandate like that. That's very, that's very honorable, moment. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, should we drive it? Yeah, can I, can I give it a go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't well, know anything about French. It might be revolutionary. Just sit in and watch this. Oh, this wedge goes down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's a light door. It's economy. What's the safety situation in here? I don't know, what's the air conditioning situation in here? Oh, uh, we've got the vent. Here you go. Yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, just, yep, yeah, okay. We've got to get moving. Yes, please. Um, yeah, the owner of a collection described this car as an umbrella, as far as safety. You were driving an umbrella. <laughs> uh, That's a good way of putting it, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, important. This is this is a full-on race car, dog leg. Oh, okay, so another yeah. Kintash. Yep. Okay, yep. so let's start her up. Yeah, here we go. Need a little bit of throttle on that. There it is. Oh, it's running. Oh, that throttle response. <laughs> Hello. It's, it doesn't sound like a big engine. No. Okay, so let's go to first gear. Yep. Handbrake. Off. All right. And here we go. So I don't know if you noticed from the outside, but when we got in, the suspension went down quite a lot. A lot, yeah. Right? And what actually happens is that this car is really neat. The way they designed the suspension in a way, the front and the back is connected. So the more weight you put in it, the longer the wheelbase gets. Okay. Which makes it so the heavier the load, the more stable it becomes. That's That feels like 29 horsepower to me. Yeah. You flat out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that shifter is so strange. This is like putting out a pipe. Yes, because instead of trying to make some fancy linkage, they wanted to keep it simple. That is literally a rod that goes in, attaches to a little L bracket, and goes into the transmission. Done. That's it. Vis Nothing else. Visibility is quite good. Yeah. Yeah. The aircon's coming in. That's what that is. Very effective. Yep. That's stronger than my Miata. <laughs> Very. 
very light everything. Did you do a downshift? No, I've just got I'm just coasting this. Oh, thing. okay. Everything's very light. I feel like you have to plan ahead to drive this, you know what I'm saying? This is an ice cream car. It's like it's like the Isetta. You go and get ice cream in it. Yeah. There's no rev gauge, is there? Uh uh. No. Shift when you feel it's best. It feels yeah. Yeah. I don't think this is a kind of ring it out to the ragged edge type of car. These are you know what such saying? soft seats. Yeah, they're like uh, they're they're designed to be like uh, picnic chairs. And the the single spoke steering wheel is funny because like it feels like I'm doing a magic trick where there's no they, yeah. They, there's so how much, did I do this? Yeah, there's no interruption to my fingers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go. So that's your leg. That's my don't don't shift with my knee, please. Okay. Yeah, I have a bad knee. Okay, go there. Oh yeah. All right. What happens if we absolutely go ham? Shift. Oh, what an upshift. <laughs> that's second gear, and that's third. The ride is incredible. Very soft. It's right, incredible. Test the handling here. Well, don't, we might roll it. Careful. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that's an angle. Oh my that's god. That's an angle. That was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. What a fun little car. Is yeah. It, is your turn signal oh, on? It's been on for a while, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a gauche. Now I'm going a droite. A do oh, is it, are they labeled? No. Like, oh, oh. That was, uh, That's first. That was me forgetting the dog leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> it was like, back to second. Yeah. All right, I've got the map here. I should know. It's constantly yeah, reminding me. Yeah, you have a, you have a map. So the if I want to... Yeah, just click that, and then they just... Go okay, up. and I want to break it. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Visibility now. This is so cool. It's strange. I can't believe that this is the fast one. This is the, the 29. What does yeah. 9 horsepower feel like? Not much. Do, do you know the weight? What's, uh, what are we? No, I, do, I don't know the weight offhand. It Not, must be very light. No, yeah, there's hardly anything to it. These doors are literally just a plate of steel with some fabric bolted to them. So who buys this? Like, you know, if you're gonna, this is a pristine condition, imported from Japan. Yep. Right, which is obviously a French colony. This, this is this is like showroom condition. This this particular car, like uh, this this way this is what it would have been like to buy one, new, in 1986. But, but why in 2022? Why would you buy one? Fun. Fun. That's why. It's, it's hilarious. Like, we're gonna go over this bump right now. Did you feel it? Not really. No. There's a bit of shake. There's a, well, the whole thing is rattling, but it's that's rattling just kind of... rattling and springy. Very springy. Like, these soft... Everything's very... The whole idea was that it could sprung. get you across a field in comfort. Oh, oh it doesn't feel good to turn. It no. doesn't feel good to turn. <laughs> now shift to third by pushing a button forward. <laughs> Actually, that was second, I think, that you were in. I was second. Yes. That was yeah. second. Now I'm in third. Now you're in third. <laughs> right, I've cooled down enough now. You've I'm cooled down. You can put your, how do you get your window down? Is it just a magnet? No, there's a release there. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. Ta-da. Fermi. I have a flashlight. That is good. That's a Japanese thing, I think. It's a requirement. Oh, oh, I've, really? been, I've been indicating right this whole time. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. I wouldn't go. Okay. We don't have any, any power whatsoever. It's not about power. It's about power to weight. We don't have, yeah. We've doubled the weight of this car by sitting in it. <laughs> Every, everything's very, like the steering feels quite assisted. And the inputs are all very light. The clutch is very light. Yeah. The shifting mechanism is like, you can do everything after a hard day's work and it wouldn't exhaust you. Well, it's very, it's very, it's very French. Like, <laughs> it is e easy. Like, you know, why, why make it difficult? It doesn't yes. need to be difficult. We have one of the love languages. We do not need hard cars to show off. <laughs> it's great. It's a great French accent. Thanks for coming out. I, I'm still indicating, right? Sorry, Dodge Charger behind me. He has no idea what I'm doing. He's probably so confused. There you we have go. to turn it off. No, I, I, you can't turn off in this. I'm always on. <laughs> Vive la France. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, okay. oh, yeah. yeah, I don't want to get any faster than that. That's no, it's scary. 
Oh, it's so funny. Oh my god. I wouldn't say this on the highway. I do feel the need to pull over and have a picnic with some wine and cheese. Not with you. Oh. I have to find someone else, but. I thought you were just, yeah, being celebratory. <laughs> you, you can drive now. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Is this a cool car? Like, do you, when you turn up somewhere, is it like, oh, that guy is cool? I can't tell. I don't actually know. I feel like I'd, I'd see an old person driving this, like, and be like, haha, that person's probably had oh, some news. Oh, oh, that's the, that's. All right. You were just indicating for ages, weren't you? I know, it's you not, you, you, you can't remember to turn it off. Even my old Alpha cancels its indicator. You sat here and you judged me. Let's fill those full 33 seconds. Hey, a roundabout. Yes, we're now we're now we're in France. Look at this. Yeah, it's got a lot of lean. Oh, what a what a machine. It's just it's like so tight and precise. So I go back to my question then. Well, I don't know what this is. I think this is like forty something grand. So, if, if you're buying something, I guess at that point you're shopping for a novelty item. Oh, are, are we doing like actual like used car buying, classic car buying advice? No, because no. Okay. Because we're not, we're not, we haven't got the authority to do that. But I'm afraid to go. We just don't have the power to get into. You're afraid to progress forward. Here That's a go. very French thing, I think. To, <laughs> to not, to not advance. How long have you been indicating left for? I don't remember. I'm indicating right now because that was right. intentional. I'm going to remember. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, uh, turning it off. Listen, I feel like you've said a lot of mean things about the French this review. I feel like <laughs> And I want to make sure that the audience understands that it's all lighthearted and, you know, <laughs> doing this stuff, you know, is our raison d'etre. Do you know what I mean? Like, it gives, us, it gives us that joie, that je ne sais quoi, that joie de vivre. Thank Do you, you know what any of these phrases mean? Uh, I don't know what je ne sais quoi means. 